Hey, I was working on my Godot project today and I realized there are two shortcuts that I use all the time. And the funny thing is that it actually took me a while to figure out that these shortcuts even existed. So I wanted to make this video to let everyone know about them. Maybe you know about them, maybe you don't, but if you're a beginner to Godot, these are crucial shortcuts for your workflow inside of the engine to make sure that you can quickly navigate your scenes and your code in order to easily manipulate your, your, your project and move around in it quickly. So the two shortcuts that I find are the most important are, number one is Control Shift F. So Control Shift F allows you to find any word uh, inside of all of your code or files inside of your game. And so we've got shaders, and also GD script so you can narrow it down. And for example, one of the things I do often is I'll search for print. Um, if I can spell that right, here we go. I'll search for print and I'll clear out print. Um, I, I put print statements all over the place when I'm debugging. Yeah, classic, right? Great debugging. And so I'll use it to clear out all of the print statements that I don't need. And then obviously if there's some that I do want to keep, then I'll do that. Another thing is if I change a variable's name, if I change this, then I can look for that variable to find out where it's used. Um, or with functions too. A lot of the time with functions, I'll have written a function and I'll be like, am I even using this function? Or am I even using this signal? Like for example, here's a signal on spell selected. So on spell selected. Where am I using this signal? Okay, I'm using it here where I'm connecting and here where I'm actually signaling out. And so it's really useful to, well, I guess spell selected that the, this is the signal and this is the function. Anyways, it's really useful to navigate your code and find stuff uh, across your entire project. So I use Control Shift F all of the time, all of the time. So the next one is Control Alt O. And this is quick open. No, not, this isn't right. Um, shift alt O. Here we go. This is quick open, <laughs> control alt O. Uh, well, that one's useful too, but this one is quick open and it will allow you to quickly search for any scene that you may have. So let's say I need to check out my enemy scene. Okay, here I have access to the GD script and the scene file. So shift, alt, O. And I use it all the time when I'm navigating my project. Oh, I need to open up, you know, I need to open up the board scene. So I do that, then I type in board, and here we go, opened up the board scene with just a few quick keystrokes, right? And I could get to the, the script as well. So those are the two most important ones. If you go to editor, here's a final little bonus tip, I guess. If you go to editor and editor settings, you can see all of the shortcuts. And there's actually quite a few in regards to open. So there's specific ones for opening a script versus a scene. So if you don't want to do quick open the entire, uh, your scenes and your scripts, you can, you can use these shortcuts for specifically targeting a scene or a script. Although I find quick open to be more useful because then I can just get whichever one I need using the arrow keys to quickly select it. So there you go. You can search the shortcuts and you can also rebind them to whatever you want them to be. So hopefully you found this quick video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if it was useful to you and I will talk to you all later.